Rachel and welcome back to my channel Bales 1986 SW and welcome to Vlogmas! It's all about what I pack in my rucksack going around the Disneyland parks. So I love Disney, I've been quite a few times and I thought I would show you what I pack because it may be helpful for you. Um, but just know that this bag is more situated for the winter time than the summer time. Um, throughout my telling you some tips and tricks I will mention what the best thing to pack um, in like summertime and also this is more winter so let's introduce you to my rucksack this is my rucksack what I take to Disneyland Paris I absolutely love it now prior to children I had a lovely cross the shoulder bag a brilliant size just to put my phone in my part passes um, very simple but now I am a mum and I need more stuff so I'm a backpack and actually now think about it even if I didn't have children I'd go still have a backpack and um, you can fit so much in it and it's it's all there for you so this is the backpack I got and um, I found this in a factory shop it's been reduced to 5 99 I absolutely love it it has mini on and I do like it that it's got a front compartment I do recommend if you're getting a backpack make sure it's got a front compartment and why I say that is because I wear the backpack so the hubster um, says ah oh, I need this this and this all my essentials are at the front so we don't have to go into the main department now there is one flaw with this bag um, I have sorted it is it has a lip of here and sometimes it was really hard to get the zip over where you needed something so I've just put a keyring on this is Dory so it's just a lot easier to get into it than um, faffing around with the little zip with the lip so let's get on with it and um, in the front compartment I keep my daughter's EpiPen um, because you never know um, touch wood I've never had to use it at Disneyland Paris but it's always in the front compartment so if we need it it is there to hand in its special case and um, but obviously I haven't got that to show you because obviously it's with my daughter so let's go into the front compartment once again I have Kering this is Buzz and Mowgli and um, you open it up and I have baby wipes we eat a lot of crepes with Nutella in and um, and it likes to go everywhere children and the hubster can be a bit messy oh, also for me as well uh, baby wipes you just can't go without baby wipes even though I've got a 10 year old and a 7 year old baby wipes are like an essential item and um, so I always have baby wipes then I have anti back wipes just because some of the rides like um, the Thunder Mountain um, because it's a bit dusty and things like that when you come off it you can have like quite like dusty black hands and things like that so I always have some anti fat wipes just to wipe them off make sure they're clean and tidy and then into the bin they go then also as well I do have some spare anti back this is from Primark it is autumn light it smells gorgeous um, my tissues have gone ah oh, I always have a pack I say always I have a pack of tissues at the front as well because it is like winter weather and snotty noses and things like that so they are in the front compartment as well as the baby pen like I said so the main um, apartment is so the first thing I have in here is this little bag I call this my toilet bag and um, it says practically perfect in any way I got this last year as a Christmas present off my mother-in-law and father-in-law I absolutely love it I love Mary Poppins so in here is everything I need for the bathroom for the toilet trips because I don't like taking my rucksack into the toilets. Toilets are absolutely perfectly clean at Disneyland Paris, it's nothing to do with that. I just don't like the idea of putting my bag on the floor because some toilets don't have the hook. Um, so I just take this out and everything I need for the toilet, the bathroom stops are in here, as well as some e little extra bits. So the first thing in here is the little first aid kit. You can buy these at Poundland, this is from Poundland, but some also as well the zip can be a bit funny so I've just put a hairpin on so it's a lot easier to get into. In here you will get some plasters, you'll get a bandage, you get a pair of little scissors and things like that and it's really really handy to have because you just never know. Um, also as well I've added some paracetamol and ibuprofen and I've like just up my um, plasters to Mickey um, Disney themed plasters because I like to be on point of theming. Um, so that's always in here as 
well, can't fasten it now. Um, so I always have the first aid kit in there. Tissues, that's where my tissues are. Um, some tissues because you just you know, snotty noses, things like that. Then I have a little um, baggie which has some more paracetamol, uh, some extra plasters, and it also has my lip balm in. Um, we're a family which suffer really badly with our chapped lips, especially in Disneyland Paris when you're waiting for like rides or waiting for parades and things like that. Your lips can become quite sore, so we have um, three lip balms. This one's mine because it, it tints your lips, and obviously the boys don't want tinted red lips. So I, that's mine and that's the boys and Grace has one um, in her medicine bag for her lips because it's a special one. So I always have that and some Bon Gelette as well because you just never know. Then Grace is allergic to soaps etc etc so I have to bring her special anti-back foam soap with me so that's her for her for her hand. And uh, then I always bring this, this is my Disneyland Paris scent. Um, it is I Love Cherry Almond Sparkle, I got this from Poundland. Oh, it just reminds me of Disneyland Paris. I always wear this at Disneyland Paris. Um, it, it's because it's quite wintry as well. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, so I always have that in there. So that is everything I have for my toilet bag. Like I said, it's just everything is in there. I can open my bag and grab this when I go to the toilet and it's just, it's very, very simple. Then the other thing I have in here are my autograph books. And um, you can buy these from any of the Disneyland shops and also the pen as well. I do recommend getting one of these kind of pens, it's just that they're easy for, for characters to use um, and this is a, an example of an autograph book um, and then you have the signatures in it. However, top tip is I've gone from using these, uh, these autograph books that you can buy at Disneyland Paris to one of these these are called the Little Golden Books. I bought mine from Amazon and I've used it every year since. I absolutely love these. Um, so it's everything I need to know I learned from a Disney Little Golden Book. Little Golden Books are basically books with a golden spine um, and they do them in different varieties of stories. So this book is a, has all the Disney tales in and this is brilliant for character interaction. So we hand this to the characters so we saw Baloo, Blue will then sign it. Um, and then he will then sometimes he will like interact because it's like him and he will like go oh, like me kind of thing and you get really nice interaction like with Marie will ask Marie to sign the Aristocats things also when you see the princesses like Elsa and um, she would actually read the story as well so Elsa would sign and um, when we gave it to Gaston he was like oh my god you're giving me a book books I don't do books kind of thing you get really nice interaction but the bonus of this book is sometimes with an autograph book, once they've put the signatures in the book, then you put it into your like souvenir box. I've got a Disney souvenir box. That's it. The memory of this has gone. However, with this book, we like to read it on a night time or when we want to relive some Disney memories. And also if you've got good, really got, there's Gaston, if you've got really good interaction from a character, once you're reading the story, the child, my daughter will say, oh, can you remember when Gaston did this, this and this? And you can relive all those Disney memories. I absolutely love this book. We do new Sharpies as well. Um, one of the top tips as well is to get a, a few little Sharpies and ask the characters to choose one. That's really good interaction. But I absolutely love um, these golden books and you get so much interaction from the characters with this and it's a perfect thing. I absolutely love that. So you have an autograph book with pen. Then Walt Disney Studios and Disneyland Paris have light shows and with the light shows they have, uh, they sell some ears, what flash and they can become quite expensive. You are looking about 25 euros for them and we were like, I don't really want to buy flashy ears. They are fantastic for um, photographs. I have in the past bought them and then once you've got them home, you never wear them and it's just a waste of money in my personal opinion. So what we bring is glow sticks um, glow sticks have been amazing for us these are from Poundland and um, we you basically snap it you make it into a necklace you can make it into a bracelet we can use up a wheelchair as well and they're absolutely fantastic um, also as well um, is if you go to Asda they do a glow set now in here which is amazing this is three pounds from Asda is they have a headband like this and you make Mickey ears with it which glow which obviously a glow glow in the dark like the glow sticks and um, then my son likes to wear the funky glasses what comes with it 
and you get a wand in here, a little sword, things like that. We had so many people coming up to us and went, where'd you get those ears from? Where'd you get those glasses from? Where are those wands from? And we're like, we bought them with us. Um, it's just brilliant, you get flashy rings as well. And for three pounds, it does us all basically. And they're absolutely fantastic. Um, and we absolutely love, love these. So I, I'd recommend getting some glow sticks. Then, my daughter has lots of medicine because um, she's quite a little poly little girl. So we have a bag of medicines. Now, I do recommend putting any medicines in a baggie because you just never know that that medicine may drip and if it is, it's all contained in a bag. So in here I've got syringes, I've got some little um, baggies to put the syringes in. I have some of her medicine, I have a feeding tube, I have some cream, her lip balm will go in here and everything what I need will be in here. Um, so it's all kept in a bag, if anything happens, it's all contained in there. Then I have her emergency uh, medical information, so if anything happens to me and Chris, um, then they know to look for this and everything you need to know about my daughter is situated in that. Then my daughter and son have just got into pin trading um, and so we keep her pins in here. Sometimes they do wear them but sometimes they do ask the, you to take your, your things off. So I always put them in the baggie so they don't get like, um, they don't get damaged or the pins come off. Um, so this is my son's, it's a licensed one by Disneyland Paris and he absolutely loves this. Um, that's his. And then my daughter's, she's only just got into it, so I just got some ribbon and made into one. Um, so she wants to spend some of her euros on a special lanyard, um, and that's my daughter's. So, we're not really into it. If we do see a cast, a cast member um, with a certain pin, we will ask if they would like to trade kind of thing. Um, but we're not the be all and end all into pin trading. I do like pins. Um, just to remember like like your hotel pin, you, I tend to buy my hotel pin or if I've had a really good interaction with a certain character I will buy that character pin just so I can remember that interaction with that character. Then because we're going in winter we need hats and scarves so uh, my daughter has got a Minnie Mouse one. This is currently available in Primark and you get some gloves as well with it. And then my son always wears his elf hat, this was bought from um, Asda quite a few years ago but it's still available to get a, a similar version of it and um, it's brilliant you get so much in character interaction from a little boy wearing this Peter Pan likes it because he's got the same kind of ears and then he wears one of these little um, snoods if you want to call it it's all um, fleece lined it's cast themed and he wears it like that around his neck you can have different versions you could wear that as a hat kind of thing and then he has his um, Christmas gloves which were um, which are currently in Primark they have them every year if you're going in summer I recommend suntan lotion I recommend after sun and also like antihistamines you can have and um, the pollen count can be quite high um, just because you're going to a different country as well and um, after bite just in case you are prone to getting bit because obviously they do have light shows and the mothers will be out so that's what I recommend if you are going in summer also, I have some spare bed wipes because if those run out, you need some more. Then, as we're going in winter, it can rain, and um, this is from Poundland. Disneyland Paris buy their, uh, have their own. But once again, this is a pound, you're looking about 7 99 um, euros for a poncho. My daughter is in a wheelchair, so we'll put this over my daughter so she doesn't get really, really soaking wet while sitting there for a parade or a ride, etc. etc and um, we always have these this is her one of choice this is a bumblebee one and like i said powerland is the best for them then we have um my cast kingston mickey mouse purse this has euros and also change it's my my kids like to change a euro um, and make it into a disney um coin they collect them so i have change in here and then this is just a, a, a new purchase for me, it's from Primark. This will keep Grace's Disabled Pass in and also our Magic Pass um, in here. And everything, anything I need for Disney, is it's all in here, safe and sound. So that is everything I pack in my Disneyland backpack. Also sometimes I will have the map and things like that. But that is everything I pack going round a Disneyland park. Hope this has helped you out. As always, sending positive thoughts, Rachel.